is up you guys it's your girl passion welcome back to my channel hey y'all so today as you can tell by the title of this video um i'm about to start packing my bag for my family visit i just want to get it out the way today is sunday um, I still got some other stuff like clothes and stuff, but I'm gonna show you like the toiletries, linens and all that kind of stuff, um, that I'll be taking with me. Some of the stuff that I'm gonna be showing y'all, I'm not sure if they'll let me, um, bring it in. Usually sometimes with different people, it's like different things that you can take. So I'm about to show y'all my layout and then I'm gonna show y'all why I'm packing my bag. So these are the toiletries. These right here, I'm gonna clean them out. I just wanted to give y'all a kind of idea of um, the travel size that I take. So I got some deodorant. Um, this lotion right here, I was able to take the last time. It's not the huge size. They let me just go ahead and take it in, but usually you would have to transfer um, this over to one of these travel sizes. So like I said, I'm gonna wash this stuff out um, and pour it into my large ones because the reason why I have these already in here is like for my last visits. Um, I got some toothpaste. Uh, of course, I don't use a whole travel size one when I go, but I usually just buy a new one just in case Because um, sometimes they be telling you you can't bring stuff that's open. I got some q-tips This would be my first time trying to take some q-tips. These are travel size um, I'll let y'all know if y'all interested. Um, just ask me again in another video I'll let y'all know if they did let me take these in so travel size deodorant body lotion I wanted to try something different because I usually always use the jerkins um, and take that with me so I got some dish down soap uh this was 88 cents they usually let me take this size in but if not then i'll just transfer it over to one of these trial sizes but um they tell you to do it in front of them so take the original i take a plastic bag and whatever sizes i can't take in transfer it over and then just keep these in a plastic bag where they have your lot your like id and car key locked up at this is a body wash that i got travel size usually always able to take this size in as well got me a toothbrush this comes with toothpaste but i wanted one um and like this little pack i also got another one too but i was like since it's brand new and it's still in this pack maybe i should just take this in so either i'm gonna take this toothpaste or this one um either one i still can use to travel to other places vaseline this will be my first time taking some vaseline so hopefully they let me bring this in too um i've tried to bring carmax they didn't let me so um i'm gonna see if i can use this to put on my lips and stuff like that and if i have to transfer it um out that's what i'll do i have a little jar that i can put this in like lip balm it's loofah this is from my husband he loves um loofahs if i'm not mistaken they don't provide these um you can't buy these like on your package and stuff like that so he loves loofahs these blankets i got from um walmart like some years ago i always take these um you can't take comforters you know like comforters are thick and it has like the stuffing and stuff like that on the inside it has to be one layer so you can't fit anything in there so i have two of those some sheets i usually try to take extra sheets to like put on the couch put on the chair um, and also the bed, but I'll take extra ones to cover up other furniture that we might want to sit on. I got some pillowcases right there. Um, I used to be like overly like everything got to match. I got to have blah, 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 but who cares? These new towels as well. They're really soft and they're super large. Like I wrapped it around my body and I'm sure he can do the same because the other ones that I got before, they were more rough um, in a cheaper a uh, brand from Walmart. I think that was Man Stays or something like that. So the gray one is for me and my husband loves blue. So I got blue for him. I usually um, take this bag. I have two of these. I got these from Walmart. Um, I think for my first family visit. So I've had these for a while, like five years. I told y'all in another video that my five year anniversary is coming up. It's in April, April 29th. I usually take two and i think i'm gonna do the towels first so to fit everything in which they go through all the stuff and unravel it and stuff like that i like to like roll things up but this towel is huge y'all like it's really huge my husband is 6'3 so <laughs> i usually have problems with like wrapping the towel all the way around me and like tucking it in and stuff like that without having you know a little slit right here so this is perfect and it's nice and soft so i know he appreciate this because these are some good towels and it's like I said they was fifteen dollars a piece. Ooh, you
do some other stuff later like what i'm gonna wear probably just take some sweatpants something comfortable or some shorts or something because it's supposed to be hot and i need to clean out um the containers just in case i have to transfer anything over this was the other toothbrush that i was talking about this is a two pack so i had already opened it that's why i was debating if i was going to take this one or not um but it's brand new so now i'm thinking about y'all seeing how i struggle to put the put that blanket in there um since those towels are bigger than the ones that i've taken before i usually can fit all that stuff in one bag so i'm gonna be taking two bags now because the little clothes that i'm gonna take i don't think it's gonna fit in here do i even need to take two blankets because i'm usually the one that uses the blankets anyway i just don't like touching the furniture and stuff like that that everybody else has been on so i like to cover everything up <laughs> so um i'm gonna think about it and see because like i said usually i'm the one who uses the cover anyway i might just take this take my other bag or figure out how i can get um the little clothes that i am going to take in there so throughout the years of me packing i used to overpack in the beginning i usually took two bags every single time and if my son was coming with me, definitely I'll be having two bags because I had to bring his stuff, you know, um, toiletries and all that stuff as well. And our clothes will go in the same bag and then I would do separate for like towels and all that kind of stuff. I also was thinking about going on Amazon to try to get me a clear bag. Um, the ones that like comforter sets come in, those big huge bags with like uh, the pillow shams, the sheet set, everything, the whole comforter set, those um, clear bags. I was thinking about getting one of those. Um, as well my last visit I didn't take these purple bags I had got like one of those cheap um, laundry bags that zip up that people be getting um, but it's like it don't last that long it probably was like $2.99 or something like that but it was really large I took a bag like this um, the last time that we went but I really want to get a clear bag so this one was $1.19 so I took a bag like this it might have been a little bit bigger yeah it was to fit like the blankets and all that stuff in there, so i can't find a clear bag i'm gonna find a clear bag i guess it's gonna be like a pack with me vlog kind of thing if you haven't seen my other pack with me sit down video go to my channel click on my playlist and it's prison wife's um it's the prison wife playlist and it'll show all the videos of what i talk about with prison wives and all that kind of stuff and that was like more in depth and that was a few years ago so my first couple of visits throughout the years i learned um majority of the stuff i take i don't even use so and as well as clothes my very first visit i went out and bought so many clothes shorts sandals you know i want to look cute and good and stuff like that and put on the outfit one time just so we can go sit outside came back in and took it off my husband be like just wear something comfortable like as long as you comfortable just wear something comfortable um i'm not gonna say the other stuff that he be saying but <laughs> if you know you know i also told y'all if you do take medication because some people take medication as well as myself you um it has to be prescribed to you. your name has to be on the bottle and it has to be only the dosage that you need while you're there that's it somebody asked me can you smoke cigarettes no you cannot smoke cigarettes on the premises at all you can't take cigarettes with you someone asked if you could take your phone you cannot take your phone in there um someone asked if you could take like um curling irons and stuff like that no you cannot take none of that stuff either um from what i was told with makeup somebody told me you could take makeup as long as it's brand new but not like excessive like a whole bunch of it but um from my experience i've never taken makeup with me um and then i've heard from other people that you can't take makeup in so i'm not sure i'm gonna take lingerie and stuff like that on my first visit that's what i did you can't have like the um wire in the bra area nothing metal um even with your bra i usually usually wear sports bras um but you can't have the kind with wire in it so in the straps the little clamps in the back or anything like that somebody asked can you take clothes for them no you can't take clothes nothing like that you could take towels um maybe a body wash but the small size but um usually they bring out their own stuff like that like body wash toothpaste and stuff like that my husband bring his own stuff out but i bring towels i bring towels for him and he asked you know me to get loofahs and stuff like that so that kind of stuff you can bring but you can't bring men's clothes and all that kind of stuff with you also with apple watches i don't think you can bring the apple watch anything that you could connect to like the outside 
um, or anything like that. And I seen someone in regular visiting have to take their app, they watch off, but it wasn't an Apple Watch. I have this fitness watch, um, but it, it connects to my phone. Like if I'm getting the text message, but I can't, um, I can't answer it or talk to the people and I can't respond to text messages. So even a watch like this, um, they wouldn't let you in. And the person that they told couldn't wear it, it was a watch like this. It wasn't an actual Apple Watch, but can't bring nothing like that. And we have yet to be able to take pictures, but I heard that they was going to try to implement that as well. Um, so we can take pictures on the visit. And I like that because uh, they don't have to wear the prison attire like when you go to a regular visit they have to have like state prison you know on their clothes and stuff that the prison provides usually when my husband comes well when my husband is on um the visit he brings his like basketball shorts you know tank tops i would love for us to be able to take pictures outside of wearing the state prison stuff i think for now i touched on some of the questions that y'all asked me i was going to do in a sit down video but i'm sure it's a lot of other people that have more questions so um leave your questions down below all right y'all so this started as a blog pack with me video and then it turned it's turning into a unpack with me video because my family visit was canceled um it was scheduled well actually they didn't even call me my husband had to notify me um it was scheduled for april 25th april 22nd and um my husband was transferred to another prison so of course i'm sad i really really wanted to see him and spend time with him but um as for a better cause you know he's been at the prison he was at for like eight and a half years um it was time for a new scenery and um it's better opportunity at certain prisons like they have um more programs that you can do and stuff like that too like i always tell y'all rehabilitate yourself um things that you could take uh so you can further your education different classes and stuff like that and also it helps you um, or help them with getting out or taking time off like when they go to the committee and stuff like that. So, even though I'm sad, um, sometimes we have to make sacrifices. And in this situation, um, unforeseen things happen. It just happened at the spur of the moment. One day, you could talk to them. The next day, it's something completely different, you know, in this situation, in a prison life. So, be unpacking my bag. I've had my bag packed for like... A week now so it's been a week since that last clip that y'all seen me it might have been longer than a week um so i have not unpacked my bag i'm about to unpack my bag now so uh, i'm about to unpack all this stuff and then i ended up ordering some bags from amazon but they were too small i'm gonna show y'all pop a little clip across the screen i returned those and then i ordered some other bags that i want to show y'all um just in case you guys are looking for different bags to, you know, to switch up in and stuff like that. Different things can fit in there. More things like when I take my son with me and stuff like that. Because this bag is fully, fully packed. And those towels that I showed y'all are super big compared to the ones that I had before. That's what I'm about to do, y'all. I'm about to unpack this stuff, sadly. But I have to look at the bright side. You know, it's a better opportunity um, it's closer so I wouldn't have to travel so far so many hours or wake up early and stuff like that it's just like um like I said it's ups and downs um being a prison wife and at the spur of the moment things can just change even in life like spur of the moment things can just change for you like that quick but in there it's like really unpredictable you know and I never even received a call for them to let me know i placed my order um for walking horse for the food i still haven't received my refund so i'm gonna call them um today and see what's up because only person that notified me is my husband when my last visit got canceled they called me like three days before um and told me the reason why they were canceling it and things to that sort but this time they didn't and i need my money back because we didn't go on a visit. I'm glad that I did this video like a vlog style kind of video. Sit down and pack and stuff. And I feel like um, I wasn't mentally prepared. I don't think I was physically prepared at the time. Um, so everything happened for a reason, you know. And I'm happy 
that my husband is able to experience another experience being in a different environment and he could take more classes to help him you know further his education um better jobs and things like that so you know you got to take the positive out of the negative it took me a while to even come back like i said it's been over a week to even come back um, and talk to y'all because this is my second visit that's being canceled. First, they weren't giving any visits due to COVID. And this is my second one being canceled. So, I was like, I was debating if I was going to continue. But I got to show y'all the real raw and let y'all know, like, how things change up so quickly. So, yeah, but at least now I'm fully stocked for my next visit. Um, I don't have to worry about getting anything because I have everything besides a rental car and stuff and i'm so glad that i didn't the day that he um called me and told me was the day i was going to book a rental car this is how the bags come um it's four in here and y'all these bags are huge this is how big the bags are so not only that you get the width with these bags but you get um the height is well. so way taller than these so you can just stack stuff on top of each other so i don't even think it's doing it justice let's see look how big these bags are i'm gonna have the link to um these particular bags inside of the comment section so look in the comments comment section i'm gonna put the link there for y'all okay so this is the blankets the towels the sheets and all of that um and i can fit everything in here look at this one bag compared to that other one so the toiletries and you can just slide those you see with my hair right here just slide them on the side and i still have room to put my clothes in here so these were definitely a good investment so, loofah boom all the toiletries, I don't really want to put them all in here right now because I need a toiletry uh, bag. But look how much space that I still have left. Let me open it. So, I still have space left to put stuff in here. Just one bag and you good to go. I'm happy that I got these bags and I can show y'all, give y'all something extra so you can take with you. Um, if you have to usually take more than one verbal and all of that and they're see-through so um, they might still go through the stuff like to look in between and stuff like that but they can see everything in the bag versus when I have these they usually take all of my stuff out and I have to refold in put it all in there and stuff like that so I'm glad that I got those and I could put y'all up on some extra information um don't be sad y'all I got over it I had a week and I have to get over it. Just happy that I can really talk to y'all and let y'all know how things work and stuff like that. Um, it's out of your control. If you like this video, please thumbs this video up. Subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all of your girls' uploads. Hey girl, hey, and I will see y'all in another one. I to let you know your